Good Wednesday afternoon, South Florida. I'm morning sealed meteorologist Julie Durda and the heat is on. We are already feeling these heat indices well into the triple digits this afternoon and it's been like that since about 10 a.m. I brought it to you live on the morning newscast and now we do have a few scattered showers popping by the keys, but really it's all about the dry conditions and the sunshine and temperatures already in the low 90s. Miami, Fort Lauderdale, we have Key West at 91 degrees, upper 80s in some areas too. Winds out of the southeast and that's pumping in the heat and the humidity. Look at this feels like temperatures when you factor in the humidity to the air temperature already in the triple digits as warm as 107 degrees is what it feels like in Kendall. So we'll be hot. There will be a few storms starting to erupt as the sea breeze develops later today, but not everybody deals with the downpours. Tomorrow we will introduce a better chance of showers and storms in the forecast, and I believe that will get us out of this long stretch of heat advisories that we've had with the rain tomorrow and then less humid conditions by the weekend. I think you'll really enjoy the change in the forecast. All right, 11 a.m. advisory is in on now Hurricane Ernesto. The system strengthened to winds of 75 miles per hour, moving northwest at 16 miles per hour. We'll continue to move away from Puerto Rico, but the damage is done with all the rain, the flash flooding that they've been seeing for the last 24 hours. As the system moves more north, it stays off the east coast of the United States, very close to Bermuda as we go into the weekend. Speaking of the weekend, once we get through the rainfall Thursday and Friday, our weekends can be fantastic and slightly less humid and drier. Have a wonderful Wednesday.